Uh, on schools, today is the deadline to look at the infection rates and make a determination. Uh, by our infection rates, all school districts can open. Uh, everywhere in the state, every region is below the threshold that we established. Uh, which is just great news. Uh, and look, let me say it this way. You look at our infection rate, we are probably in the best situation in the country right now, as incredible as that is. So if anybody can open schools, we can open schools. Uh, and that's true for every region in the state, period. Uh, now, every school district has submitted plans to the Department of Health and State Education Department. State Education Department, as you know, is a separate department. It's run by the Board of Regents. I have nothing to do with it. Uh, department of Health has uh, the plans, and if they uh, don't meet, Department of Health can disapprove plans if they're not responsible from a health point of view. Uh, there are 749 districts that have to submit plans. Uh, of those 749, 127 districts have not submitted plans to the Department of Health. Uh, and 50 of those, an additional 50, are either uh, incomplete uh, on their face uh, or deficient. The Department of Health is going to continue going through the plans over the weekend and on Monday is going to notify uh, those school districts where it's incomplete or deficient. There may be more than the 50, but it's 50 right now. Uh, and uh, notify those school districts who have not submitted a plan. As I said, it's 127 now, but Department of Health hasn't uh, finish their review. They will over this weekend, and they'll make those notifications uh, today and Monday to those school districts. Uh, so they are all authorized to open. Again, we're going to watch the infection rate between now and uh, the day, day that schools open. If there's a spike in the infection rate, uh, if there's a matter of concern in the infection rate, then we can revisit it. But for planning purposes, uh, they can reopen. They then go to step two, right, which is the local school district has to come up with a plan, and they have to deal with their parents and teachers, which uh, is going to be a more complicated issue than I think many of them fully appreciate. Uh, I have been deluged with calls from parents and teachers. And there is a significant level of anxiety and concern. Uh, so, and I've said a number of times, uh, these school districts have to be talking to the parents and talking to the teachers. Because if the teachers don't come back, uh, then you can't really open the schools. If the parents don't send their students, then you're not really opening the schools. Uh, so to facilitate that, uh, I want the school districts uh, to do uh, two things. One, uh, I know uh, where the bulk of the questions are coming from. Uh, a set of questions that I have from a policy matter is remote learning and the equity in the remote learning process. We've learned from the experiences we've had during COVID that remote, remote learning can be quite unequal uh, given the demographics and given the circumstances. Uh, so I'm going to ask the school districts to post uh, their remote learning plan on how they're going to do remote learning uh, to the extent they are, if they are, in their district. Uh, also, there's been a lot of questions about testing. Most of the plans will say uh, a student
student comes in, temperature check, uh, and if the student has a temperature, they have to be tested. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, how is the student tested? Where is the student tested? If uh, there are 20 students who have a temperature on day one, uh, how do you get those students tested? Where do you get them tested? What happens in the interim? Uh, teachers also want to know how a teacher can get a test uh, and how would that be done? Different school districts have different theories, but that question of testing for students and teachers is a high level of concern. To facilitate that dialogue, I want the school districts to post their quote unquote testing plan for their school district. Uh, so whenever they talk about testing, how will you do that? That's what the parents want to know. Uh, how quickly will it be done, et cetera. Uh, so that's a, a second component of the plan that should be posted on the website. Uh, and the third, uh, the questions around contact tracing in a school. So if a student tests positive uh, in a class, tests positive. So the student came in, student had a fever, student then got tested. What is the contact tracing for that positive? Uh, do you test the class? If the student goes to a number of classes, how do you do it? Uh, and how will the school do contact tracing? Will the school ask the local government to do it? Will the school ask the uh, local health department to do it. But these three areas are the, uh, are the highly questioned areas uh, almost across all school districts. Remote learning, how do you do testing, how do you do contact tracing? Uh, so I want the school districts to do just that component of their plan that they then post. Uh, so a parent who has questions on one of those three areas, they can go right to those three specific answers rather than wading through the entire district's plan. Because some of these district plans are quite lengthy. So uh, I'm asking each school district to post those three components. Uh, second, I'm asking all the school districts uh, to have discussions with the parents. Uh, there should be at least three discussion sessions with parents where the parents are given notice. They can be online, however it works for the local school district but they have to communicate with the parents and explain the plan and answer the questions of the parents. Uh, and not every parent can make any one date. Uh, so the school district should have three opportunities between now and August 21st. Uh, and they publicize them and they say, here are the three dates and parents can participate online, however they do it. Uh, but parents need an opportunity to be heard and the schools should welcome the opportunity to actually explain the plan. Uh, for the big five school districts, I'd like them to set up uh, five sessions between now and August 21, uh, just because there are more parents and you want to give parents an opportunity to ask a question. Uh, you'll have thousands of parents, so uh, even five is, I don't think, overly exhaustive. Uh, and I don't know how many questions you can get to, but the more dialogue, uh, the better. I'm also asking the school districts uh, to set up uh, at least one discussion just with the teachers, where they go through the plan uh, and everybody is in one conversation, teachers, administrators, and they discuss exactly what 
is in the plan, and if the teachers have questions or concerns, let's get them aired, uh, and let's get them uh, uh, in a point where everybody is hearing the same thing. So, uh, good news, uh, all schools can reopen. Again, we have uh, the best infection situation in the country. If any state can do it, this state can do it because we've been smart from day one. Uh, we do the masks, we do the social distancing, we've kept that infection rate down, and we can bring the same level of intelligence to the school reopening that we brought to the economic reopening. Uh, our school guidance has been touted as the smartest in the country. Our economic reopening guidance was the smartest in the country. Uh, so if anyone can do it, we can do it. Uh, but we have been successful because we've been smart and we have to continue to be smart. Uh, and with the school districts, uh, I want those two tasks performed. Uh, one uh, specific plan by school district online uh, by the end of next week. Here's our testing plan. Here's our contact tracing plan. Here's our remote learning plan as they define it in their local reopening plan. Uh, so here's when we say if a student tests positive, this is how we do testing. Uh, when we say a teacher can get testing when they want it, this is how we do it. Uh, if a student becomes positive, if a teacher becomes positive, this is how we do contact tracing. Uh, to the extent we do remote learning, if they do remote learning, uh, this is how we do it. And this is specifically how we're going to address the equity issues that we encountered uh, the first time. So those three plans, uh, which are components of the overall plan, online, posted, people can read them. Uh, second uh, task Talk to the parents, talk to the teachers. Talk to the parents, talk to the teachers. Uh, three online sessions with the parents between now and August 21, except for the big five school districts. They do five sessions between now and August 21. So parents have a, an opportunity for their question to be heard, where it's just not numerically impossible. Uh, and then, uh, a session with the teachers alone. Teachers are invited to the parents' discussions, but teachers alone, because teachers do have a separate set of issues. Uh, teachers are older, often, so uh, uh, a session with the teachers, um, because that dialogue is everything, as I've been saying. This is not really a bureaucratic decision. It's a parental decision.